Ow! And welcome back to another episode of Mo Creatures Let's Play. I have no idea what I'm going to call this series. You guys can look down at the title right now. Tell me what it is, by the way. I have no idea what it's going to be. You guys, if maybe if you shout loud enough, then past me will see that there's a fire over over there. Eventually, sometime during this series, we're going to have to capture a fire. Stop. Oh. Who could that be at this hour? Mr. Johnson? The mailman? No. Pedro. The old Spanish-American miner. We won't let Pedro in, though. You know, sometimes Pedro used to cause trouble. He used to come in and steal all my pancakes on Saturday mornings. But not this time. I knew it. Pedro. Why do you choose to harm me in this way? Boom! You should have learned martial arts, I told you. It happens to everyone. I said this in the last episode, and really, uh, by this time, Pedro brought a couple of his friends. Oh no, I'm getting gang jumped. See, that could happen to you too, kids. I mean, you never know. Pedro. Ooh, I like your hat, dude. Just leaving a compliment. You never know, it could make somebody's day if you say that. Always be sure to leave comments, no matter what the circumstance. I don't know if that's a plug to anything or not. But it is really nice when you guys leave comments. Um, I really do enjoy reading comments. That's like my favorite thing. I can get like uh, zero likes on a video. I, I don't usually. You guys are really good about likes. But I could get zero likes on a video. And I'd still be uh, extremely happy if I got a comment. Because that, that really means something. It means somebody actually watched the footage. They... They enjoyed it. I just broke that block twice. We're getting block lag. And it, it shows that you're it really heartfelt uh, whilst watching and commenting on a video. So I gotta have a way to get out of here eventually. Parkour jump? No. Rejected? Ooh. I, I got rejected worse than the basketball does sometimes. Oh, look, he's hugging him from the back. They are such good friends. Unlike me, I have no good friends like that. I don't think I'd feel comfortable with any one of the friends that I have just grabbing them around the neck like that. True friendship. I, I can't compare to it. Okay, Pedro and his friends need to stop trying to get in and... And... <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to think of a joke for the babies there, but... Oh, dude, they double-hitted. How's that even work? I want that guy's hat. Um... Hi, Mr. W if you could stop walking so slow, that that would be much, much appreciated. Ah, they're clamoring in. They want the pancakes. But pretty soon, daylight will come. And then we'll be out of here. We got stuff to do. I can't believe I'm locked in this house. I'm locked in my own house because of Pedro. I mean, Pedro, shut it. I mean, Carl was bad enough, but you, Pedro, you were something else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is so many zombies, I, what even? I think I'm gonna have to use my wooden sword because they're breaking my other sword. All right, and oh, and you can jump up and bite. That's not good. Well, oops, oh no, 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 that's bad, that's bad. What is, what is, oh, 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 okay, oh, whoa, oh no, whoa. <gasps> I can't jump. Why can't I jump? Why can't I not? Why can't why can't I can? Why can't why can't I do the can can? I have no idea. Oh, they're all burning. Good. You! You betrayer of the betrayal! So if you betray the betrayal, is that good or bad? See what I did there? See what I, No. Probably don't. Well, that's okay. Zombies are dying now, so we can finally open up the passage to our home again. That was really annoying. Pedro just needs to stop. When I say stop, it's time to stop, Pedro. No more of that. Uh, we'll complete the roof on our house a little bit later, actually. For right now, I want to... We've got to find food and then find a cave. Always the objective of second episodes. We will be starting on the zoo soon enough, but I've got to um, really collect a lot of resources before I think I can start that. So, uh, we'll be focusing on collecting normal Minecraft resources... Kind of ignoring mo creatures for the most part, except the parts where they kill us. Which is the funnest parts for you guys. 
Ooh, like that. You are a tiger, Tony the tiger. You need to stop that, Tony. The tiger. Tiger. You know what I'm saying, tiger. Uh. Please cook. Please cook and please cook fast. That's what I say to the people at McDonald's. Please cook and please cook fast. Because if you don't, I won't know what to do with my life. Put it through with that final flame of yours. You failed me. You took over. That was bad. That was bad. I should really be more careful with you, Mr. Mike. <laughs> Mike the Mike. Yeah, that's him. He's he sometimes like falls over for no reason. I really hope I didn't hit anything there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, down to business now. No more fooling around. <gasps> All right. All right, that's that's okay. You know what? You know what? That's okay. You know what? I'm just going to go look for a cave now, if you don't mind. Yep, there there I go. Here I go. Here we go. Off into the wild blue, yonder, way beyond, and down to the sea. And then we'll swim in the sea, and we'll go see what we can see. It's getting weak. I need to find a cave. To find a cave that I can go into. Escape from all my trials. That looks like it might house some coal over there. You know, let's remember the coordinates. We are right around 0, 0500. Uh, it'll be somewhere around there when we come back. <sighs> Dead! Gave me a slime ball. Thank you so much for giving me a slime ball. I just saw you there and I had to kill you and... Not many people like it when I do that. But you are, you're different. There should be a cave opening somewhere in the field here. I don't quite want to go up to those extreme hills like I was going to. Um, I just want to find some nice place where I can relax. You know, go caving. See the creepers. Smell the ocean breeze. That's what I'm talking about. But it doesn't look like they're going to allow me to do that. Um, we'll have to go a little further on. Look for an opening to a cave and then just go in it. No questions asked. It's a matter if it's a small cave or a big cave. A tall cave or a long cave. I'm just going to go right into it. And usually fields house a lot of these openings. But I can't find a single one right now. And the deers, they're the, they're the deers over there. Just being themselves. You know, going around. There's a cave opening. That's what I was looking for. We'll collect just a little bit of cobblestone. We don't need too much of that. Except we're going to need a ton of it for building our zoo. But we'll collect that later. First of all, we need to get iron. Iron is going to be our very, very special, most uh, probably prominently used resource. You guys know what prominently means. I feel pretty proud of myself right now. Just learned that today. Alright, uh, here's some more iron. We've got three pieces of that now. Four pieces. Allow me to count a little more. And my nose always starts itching and spasms. It's never one itch. It's like one itch is not enough, Mr. Flash. Look, I gotta itch more than that. I just can't stop at one. Here's a big cave. And you, this is Sparta. Just in case you were wondering. So, have a nice time down there. Oh, we got some coal as well. Um, I'm going to really enjoy... Why am I doing that? That's that's really weird. I should stop. Um, I'm going to really enjoy my coal. Because I hated using wood. It's one of the worst things ever. Why would, why would people use wood? Yep, that's how you itch your nose. That is how you itch your nose. Like I said, one inch is not enough. Did you find a way back up here, Mr. Sparta dude? You're dead. Ooh, I'm dead. How'd you... How'd you get up here? I almost don't want to go back to mining. I'm at such low health. Um, is that enough resources? I got 12 pieces of iron. I guess I'm going to have to run off and create myself some armor like little Timmy Boy. Because Timmy Boy was the most famous person ever to create armor. Every good man quotes Timmy Boy in his noble attempt to gain armor. To gain protection of the feats. He, he created boots first, you guys. He was, the, he was the person who created boots. Little Timmy was an awesome dude. 
had the pleasure of knowing him. But, uh, he's gone now. He created too many boots, and he got, lo <laughs> he got lost in them. And then he died. And it was really sad, okay? Now, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just have to stop that. I hope I got enough coal to satisfy myself. I did not. But what do you know? I never do. We'll cook ourselves some food after this iron is done. But for right now, our main objective is channeling JJ into our current house. We can do that with cobblestone, you know. If you know how to effectively use cobblestone, you can channel goats into your house. The best thing ever. Um, and we don't want to waste any cobblestone like we did right there twice. Mr. Hypocritical Dude. That's what I am. Hypocritical dude. Alright, JJ. You know what? You are coming with me! Aren't you? No. Come here. I got food in my hand! Again? He's like... Dude, I am so not... I could not be less interested in your food right now than I am at this current point in my life. JJ. Get over here. You would not believe your eyes if a little firefly buzzed around you as you tried to go to sleep. Because you nod your head right off and he'll just keep flying in circles and you'll probably name him Hillhoff or something. Get JJ! You're being difficult, alright? I don't want to have to tell you again. By the time I count to three, I want to see you in this house. Not withstanding for a second. Okay, I can feed this stuff to you, but you won't come. Is that how it is? Alright. What if I were to hold chicken? KFC! Your favorite. I see that's getting your attention. Why? Why won't you follow me, chicken? Maybe he's stuck. Maybe he has a little problem moving from his current home. But, I'm sure he would not if we continued to do something very strange and odd such as this. Don't you dare leave. That's that's not good. That's not good. No, no, no. JJ, no. Mr. Goat. Mr. Goat is his full name. I only use that when I'm angry at him. Okay, JJ, come on. This way. This is the hardest I have ever had to work to get an animal to move. If a goat can get any more stubborn, I'd be surprised. Get in here, JJ. Okay? Okay. You're gonna stay out there, huh? Alright. I see how it is. Why don't you stay out there? You just stay out there and enjoy your time. Enjoy your time. Just being super duper annoying. JJ. Because that's... That's what you're being, JJ. Come on. Move you past this point. Stop that. That's inappropriate. That's immature behavior. Can't think of anywhere to take that one. <laughs> Continue to move yourself. This is really, really frustrating. How come it how come it doesn't follow food now? I mean it seems like that would be the thing. It would begin to follow first. Maybe we have to cook some. Maybe it only likes its uh, KFC cooked. Or its pork chops, perhaps. You know. Now this can be converted into wool, which I think I will use two of to craft myself a bed. I have not yet used a bed in my other survival series. That would probably be a good thing to begin doing, actually. I can see how I would benefit from sleeping. No, I've never done that before. It's probably really annoying to see my hearts like uh, keep shaking at two down there. I can imagine that would be extremely annoying. But um, I'm very sorry. I have to like focus on other things right now. Can't focus on my hearts. I'm cooking some food for my JJ, but he does not seem to be moving. It's the most frustrating thing on earth. Cut down one more tree and then we'll get inside. I may do a little off-camera work to compensate for the non-work that I did in this episode. I did non-work in this episode. That's how bad it gets sometimes. All I did was really get a little bit of iron and craft some stuff. Craft. Like with a U. Cur. 
craft, like curry. It's like, it's it's pretty tasty, man. You should try it. You should try it. It's pretty tasty. Um, why is there is it Rantanius spawning spawndom? Why is there Rantanius spawndom? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. No idea why there's Rantanius spawndom. Um, we'll make a way to get inside. And then we'll take the way away. Like that. Way away. Alright, JJ. You know what you have forced me to do? You forced me to leave you out here for another night. I don't... I didn't think I could do this, but apparently you forced me to. Hopefully the zombies won't get you. Or maybe I hope they will. What a mean thing to say. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we will be doing a ton more stuff. And it will... In, this series will really develop a lot more than it has. I'm, I'm almost afraid you guys think that Flash, you don't know how to do a Minecraft series. But keep in mind, I'm the dude with over 450 videos. So, and you're the dude who's sat in here, watched all of them. You're a good dude. You're a good dude. And I will see you Vikings in the... Vikings? I'm not sure where that came from. It's like sailing in the high seas. I know where they came from. They came from Dublin. Dublin, Ireland. Back in the 18... 70s and they came they cru they cruised across with cowboys you know they just like you know they just like john wayne can i hitch a ride john wayne's like sure and then uh attila the hun just came along for the ride and that's how you break that's how they broke the great wall of china you guys so in the next episode we'll be doing some more stuff see you guys then bye let's go find them kids i'm here to pass out candy never take candy from strangers you guys if anybody ever says i'm here to pass out candy just don't listen Hey, here's a wolf. You want some candy? Want some candy? There. Yeah, yeah. Get all the candy you want. He doesn't want the candy. Doesn't he want the candy?